So the economy has been very difficult lately. We know that uh, many Arizonans are out of work right now. They're wondering how they're going to provide the necessities for their family, most importantly, putting food on the table in many cases. So more and more people are turning to our local food banks for help. And now we have the chance to help out during a critical time of need. Gibby is at St. Vincent de Paul this morning with what you can do. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah, Arizona's family is teaming up with St. Vincent de Paul, also Safeway Albertson's food stores on our way to end hunger now. You know, when you think about it, many communities have about 50 percent of their families that are hungry and they don't have food, Shannon. And that right there in itself is disturbing. Oh, it's so stressful for families right now. We all know in the last number of months since started so many families have lost jobs and are really making such impossible choices between paying the rent putting food on the table getting the things that their their children need and so this drive is so important to help us get the food that we need to take a little pressure off families right now here's here's how it works it's, it's really simple a lot of folks still go to the grocery store those who can and those who can Here's how they can help. At the grocery store at Safeway or Albertsons, they can go out there and give a donation. This donation can really go a long way. We have a sample of what that is. Absolutely, it's really simple. When you go to the grocery store, you can just make a donation at the register. And sometimes we think, well, I don't have thousands of dollars. How can I help? But you can see here what $5 or $10 or $20 or even just a dollar or two added to your bill can really go a long way to helping serve families in our community and help us have the food that we need to provide food into the fall and through the holiday season. Yeah, one of the things I noticed missing out here is some of the proteins, and it's not because you don't want to put it out there. It's hard to come by, and that's one of those things that people can donate. Canned tuna, for example. Absolutely. We actually couldn't find any canned tuna to put on this display. So those canned proteins are so important for people that have children, it's a non-perishable item that can really ensure that kids have the food that they need. And right now, we all have the opportunity to come together as a community. Just a few dollars at the register, pooled all together, can make a big difference for places like St. Vincent de Paul and other food banks in our community where people will be coming to get the food that they need to feed their families. Yeah, one of the reasons why these donations are so huge, and we talked about this, is that you buying it, can go a lot further than, let's say, if I were to turn around and donate $5 worth of food. Right. We can use the, the monies that come in to buy leverage purchases and in bulk so that we can stretch those dollars even farther. And it's really important for us right now because we've not been able to do community food drives at businesses and schools and other places. Those have all been closed. People are at home. So this food drive right now is so important to us and all of our community has the opportunity to go to any Safeway or Albertson store and make a gift. All right, and here's one for you guys. Earlier today, I was telling you at the pharmacy at Safeway, if you go to get your flu shot today, they're gonna give you 10% off your purchase. How about you get that 10% and put it towards St. Vincent de Paul? It's free money. It's like it's already there already. <laughs> you didn't lose it, just saying.